Deep brain stimulation is a neuromodulation therapy which uses electrical signals to modify the activity of brain cells which in turn can improve symptoms of Parkinson's disease and tremor. The best candidates for deep brain stimulation for Parkinson's disease are those people who, who improve with their medications but who are bothered by intolerable side effects uh, such as uh, dyskinesias which is abnormal movements I call wiggles and squiggles, uh, tremor that doesn't respond very well to medicine, and people who are affected by what we call motor fluctuations, which I refer to as the roller coaster. So these are individuals who take their pills, they're okay for a couple, three hours, medicine wears off. The stimulator runs 24-7, so it smooths out those peaks and valleys. The deep brain stimulation surgery involves two parts. The first part involves putting the stimulator electrodes in the brain, typically one on each side because Parkinson's disease affects both sides of the brain, uh, followed by implantation of the small pulse generator, which is like a heart pacemaker that sends the electrical signals through the wires to quiet down the abnormal brain activity. In general, the surgery to implant the electrodes uh, takes about two and a half hours. The, the pulse generator or pacemaker implant takes less than an hour. So all told about three and a half hours for the procedure start to finish. Nebraska medicine is really a gem with respect to the management of movement disorders. We are the only center in the region that has a truly comprehensive approach to management which includes not only the movement disorders specialists, the neurology doctors, uh, but also all the supporting actors, the nurses, the occupational speech therapists, neuropsychologists, the neurosurgeons with expertise in the deep brain stimulator surgeries, and the nurses who assist in and facilitate all of the patient follow-up.